though I always wanted to own a restaurant, I didn't know how it was going to happen, but it was okay, like a dream okay. of mine. There we go. Um, but working for McDonald's, believe it or not, on 52nd and uh, Chestnut, my first job. There we go. Um, that actually taught me that it was more to, it was more just selling a cheeseburger. When you sell the cheeseburger, it has to be consistent. It has to taste the same all the time. Plus, you have to give, give friendly service and say thank you and be grateful yeah. for your uh, for your customers that do patronize your business. So okay. the McDonald's started me um, in that culinary field, but um, <clears throat> I actually did like a reverse turn and came back to the culinary because um, I worked in a corporate job for okay. over nine years. Wow. Um, so it's, it, yeah. it's, it's a bunch of different pieces, but okay. I'll make sure we'll... Uh, there's a bunch of different pieces to the puzzle and how everything happened, but God put me in this position for a reason, I guess. There you go. So that's, um, I'm, I'm here for a mission. Because right. every day I'm tired. I'm tired today. Today's my day off, but I got right. a call from uh, Villanova University. Thank you guys for them catering 150 kids of their kids today. So I'm here today yeah. working on my day off plus getting interviews. So There we go. And I'm sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> so you talked about going into the corporate world. Talk about that before you actually walked into... Um, your passion of cooking. Okay. So, um, corporate. All right, well, let me just start off here. When I was in, fresh out of high school, I went to culinary school, dropped out of culinary school because honestly, we just couldn't afford it. It wasn't like financial aid wasn't really available for culinary schools back in those days because okay. it was more of accredited and not like a university. Okay. So that was the start. So after, um, after, I went to, after me being in school, my mom, excuse me, me being in school, mm-hmm. culinary school, after realizing we couldn't afford culinary school, she did allow me to go like go to like a college, like a community college. And in community yeah. college, I took like regular basic business management uh, courses, but it it won. It, it ended up with me working in like uh, a retail organization called Jones Retail Corporation. Okay. Um, with Jones Retail Corporation, um, they actually sent me to college. So it was one of them yeah. kind of. Jobs where you can, you know, you, you, you work and you also go to school at the exactly. same time. Exactly. So That's they, great. that helped me out a whole lot. Okay. Um, but within Jones Retail Corporation, I was, I, one thing at a job for some reason, yeah. I always worked at a job and became a manager or something. So from working at Jones Retail Corporation. So you at, learned you had the leadership skills. I learned leadership oh, okay. skills there. Working mm-hmm. there at 22 okay. or 21 ish. Mm-hmm. Um, I was promoted to like a assistant manager, well, crew trainer first, an assistant manager, then a store manager, then a marketing manager, then a district manager. So all that by the time I was age 28. So that kind of taught me business, but it also taught me how to run multiple businesses. Not that I remember everything now, but (laughs) it taught me how to run like multiple businesses Uh working for that company. And then from there, I I went to um, Verizon, which is one of the biggest companies um, in... And, you know, one of the biggest companies out there right now. So yeah. I worked for Verizon for about nine years. I was executive sales, okay. um, worked in the call center. That taught me how to work with people. Um, and sometimes I was able to, to, to train within working in the call center. So that actually taught me how to teach people. Okay. Um, so I think that my life was geared towards Twice. working in Support. some type of business aspect. Like I was okay. able to be a leader at a very young age. And now... Almost in my 40s, I'm a leader, leader now in my business now. But it wasn't all easy. <laughs> okay. Let's just say, let's stop okay. there. Because I actually um, was laid off from uh, Verizon, a very good company to work for. I would never disparage. Yeah. Um, was laid off for um, laid off for Verizon. Mm-hmm. And that actually, uh, my life went into shambles because I was so dependent upon my job mm-hmm. at Verizon. I was making almost six figures working there. Mm-hmm. So we'll go from a six-figure mm-hmm. Um, salary. salary to like unemployment salary which is half yeah. you almost feel like you're going backwards in life yeah. but 